Here's what I want you to understand. If Zechariah's story shows us that we are stuck in our sin until God saves us, here's the other part that we see, the living example of what it means to experience God's salvation. We are saved by God. God saves us from our sin when we believe in him. I want you to hear this personally. God saves us from our sin when we believe in him. There's an expression of trust in Zechariah's story that changes everything in, in the same way for you and for me. We are stuck in our sin. We cannot save ourselves, but God saves us when we believe in him. Maybe you can think about it like this. If not trusting God is the beginning of our sin, trusting God is the beginning of our salvation. Are you with me? If not trusting God leads us into sin, trusting God leads us into salvation. And while trusting God is something that we can do over and over again, there has to be a defining moment in our life where we cross the line and say without turning back, I trust God. I believe in Jesus. I know that I need him. I receive his gift of grace and I live for him. There's got to be a moment. See, faith is described as a race in scripture. And it is much more a marathon than a sprint. Here's the thing. There has to be a moment in your life where you choose to get in the race. There's got to be a moment where you cross the starting line and start to run. That's what this moment was for Zechariah. He was stuck in his sin. And when he said, I trust God enough to give my son the name John, that was his way of saying, I, I'm, I'm back in. And there's got to be a moment like that for you, where you trust God with your life. I believe this is the purpose God intends for the Christian act of baptism. To give you a, a way, a tangible, physical way to say, I believe. I'm going to run. I belong to Jesus. I trust him. I know who he is. I've seen my sin and I know how much I need to be saved from it. And so if you have never made the decision to be baptized as a follower of Jesus, my plea is to say yes to Jesus and to do just that. To, to receive his grace, to express your faith, and to use that as a sign to show that you are committed to him. I believe there is incredible power. I don't think that faith is something that we meander into accidentally or we drift toward casually. I believe faith is something we choose. And if you have not chosen that, if you've not expressed that, then that is your response of trust in God today.